Every one of us has stories about how we got misdirected. My wife and I, when our kids were small, rented a motor home to take our first really nice family vacation together. And the motor came, came with a wonderful volume of instructions. The fellow we rented it from said, look, read the book. Everything you need to know is in the book. And it was. I mean, we went and set up camp at the Percy Priest Lake in Nashville, Tennessee. And we're sitting there and just having a grand old time. And one morning during breakfast, my wife came out. I'm sitting there with our three kids at the time. And she said, there's a little red light growing, glowing in the hall. It's lit, lit up. It's, what is that? I said, I have no idea. I didn't even know there was a light there. So I went and looked. Sure enough, it's about the size of a dime, and it's just glowing red. So I got the book, lights, hall, red, there it is. It says, when that light comes on, your holding tanks are full. How many of y'all know what holding tanks are? <laughs> if you've never been camping, all the nonsense you put down into the restroom and everything goes into a holding tank. And it said, you have to immediately go empty the tanks. Now, I told you exactly how to do it. It said, find where the sewer station is. I found that. It said, position the motor home and put the left tire right by the sewer. I did that. Then it said, there is a hose, a sewer hose, in the bumper. And I told my wife, that can't be right. I've been by that bumper a hundred times. There's no hose in it. But it said, pull the cap off the end. I pulled it off. Now it said, look in there. And sure enough, there was a hose in there. And so I pulled it out. Then it said, go over and go where the sewer valve is and hook it up, run it along the ground, and they showed pictures and put it down. It said, now you're halfway there. Now go around the other side. And it said, right over the tire on the other side is an air valve. And it said, in order for the tanks to enter empty, with full force. I'll never forget the sentence. <laughs> it said, in order for the tanks to empty with full force, put 10.5 pounds of air pressure into the tank. Only I didn't see that little dot. <laughs> and I thought it said, put 105 <laughs> pounds of pressure in the tank. Now there was an air pump right there. So I told my wife, you go around the other side. You do the easy job. I'll put the air in. And when I tell you, you just pull the valve. That's all you got to do. And while we're getting all of this set up, a man with a brand spanking new, incredibly expensive converted bus, fresh from the factory, pulled in right next to us. I mean, this bus cost more money than my home that I was living in times five. I'm looking at his bus. He said, you like my bus? I said, well, that's gorgeous. He said, just picked it up from the factory. Don't have anything in the tanks. I just want to get the dust out of the tanks. I said, wow, you're fastidious. My wife said, well, come on. We got more than dust in ours. Let's get back to work here. So I went over this side, and man, I plugged that in. And you remember the old air pumps that used to go ding, 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 ding? They would ring a bell. Well, that thing going ding, 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 ding. It took forever to get 100 pounds in there. <laughs> Finally, my wife came back. And she said, what's taking so long? And I used the perfect response. I said, it takes time to do it right. <laughs> Ladies, when we say that, that means we don't know what we're doing. Look out. <laughs> She said, well, I got a question. I said, what's that? She said, how come that tank is bulging? And I looked in the wheel well, and it was. It was bulging. I said, it's made to do that. <laughs> Finally, I said, you go around on your side. Man, I held that up there forever. I got 105 pounds in there. What happened next will never leave my mind. <laughs> When I told my wife, pull the valve, 
the nonsense in that holding tank that our kids had put there went whooping down the hose, took the hose and brought it up, and the hose is going all over that brand new bus. About 50, 60 feet away was a kiddie pool. We went all over those little kitties. I came running around, and here's my wife hugging this hose. She said, help me, Jesus, help me. What a mess, what a mess. I wish I could tell you that's the most serious mistake I've ever made. But let me tell you one I see all the time. We want to do God's work man's way. We want to go take a stand and use man's wisdom. In spite of the fact that God says, lean not into your own understanding. And so all of a sudden we're out here in this incredible battle for religious liberty and we're trying to do it our way. And God says, I don't think you read the book. I don't think you saw the directions. 